What I'm looking at at the moment is V and H lookup. OK, I'm going to put my cursor here. Then I'm going to go up to FX. I click on to All, click into here, and type V. And I keep pressing V until I get to V and V lookup. OK, let's OK that. I'll put my cursor there. Now what's the lookup value I'm looking for? That one. What's the table or array? Well, it's that lot there. Now the thing is, I need to make it absolute, so I press F4. OK, and now, which of these columns am I interested in? Well, since I already have 12, well, I've got those marks. What I need is the result. So I'll choose column 1, 2. Now this is a very odd thing really. If I write true or nothing then it'll accept that 12 is quite close to 10 and therefore award J as the result. But if I write false there it'll only give a result if that number is exactly the same as that one. So I'll write true in there and there it gives me. 12 gives a result of J. I could of course pull this down but let's do it again just to demonstrate how it's done. I'm going up to FX clicking on to one of these and typing V. Then I keep typing V until I get to V lookup. OK. Now when I put my cursor down to here, what am I looking up? I'm looking up this. OK. Now I need to choose the table. Array. There it is. The purple section. Of course I need to only talk about the purple section and so I press F4 to make it absolute, meaning it only looks at these cells, nothing else. Column or index is 2. I don't need to worry about that. If I leave it blank it's the same as writing true. And you can see already that there is a result down here, D. All right, 79, 79 down here, yes, is D. OK, there we are. Now if I drag that down, those are the results. Anita Bath, 12. Belly Flop, 15. But J. Building, G. Dwayne Pipe, F. Elementary D. How we did it? D. Genocide C. Lieutenant C. Marge Inavera. No, no. Marge Inavera. 93, which gave her B. And Rufus Leaking, 100%, which gave A. So that's vertical lookup. It looks up vertically. What I want to do now is to remove the buttons. I've set up a macro to do that. So there you are. I've removed the bu buttons, which has made my second table visible. So I'm coming here and I'm looking up horizontal lookup. Click on F. Click onto there and type H. 
If I type H again, it'll come up with H lookup. OK, now let's look again. What's the lookup value? Well, it's still 12. What's the table array? Well, it's 10 down to 100. Plus, of course, A to J backwards. Let's make it absolute. Row number, row 1, row 2. So 2. I can leave this blank, and when I come to there, of course, H lookup is still J, and if I drag it down there, the results are just the same. Of course they would be. Alright, I want to go to G. I'll return the buttons for a moment and at G I'll make the cell bright green. I'll go down to the cell 2 below it and make it bright yellow. Now what I want to do is to go up to this area here, that is any part of this. If I press the right hand mouse there then I can drop down the menus and choose forms. Now the forms that I'm looking for, the form that I'm looking for is a combo box. So I'm going to draw a combo box down here. OK, so there's my combo box. I want to do something with it. Let me just remove the buttons for a minute. OK. Now there it is. If I press the right hand mouse on it, I can see Format Control. That is what controls this. So I'm going to click onto there. And up comes this box. I'll put it to here. The first thing I'm looking at is the input range on there, and that's that. Yes, the names. Now I'm going to move that back a bit so that I can see these boxes here. The cell that I link it with, link this, the input range, is that one. Now if you look at this list here, you'll see that it's ten names. So instead of a drop-down list of 8, I'm going to choose 10. Finally, I shall look for 3D shading to see if it makes any difference to this box here. Now when I've done that, and I click onto there, you'll see I need a bath is 1. Elementary is 5. If I go to Rufus Leaking, it's 10. Row 10 this is. This is a row. OK, so I've worked all that out. Now what I need to do is to go up to this the green cell. And here I want to go up to here to FX. I'm looking in FX down this column and I want index. So I press I first to IF press it again and it takes me to index. Please select one of these arguments, arrays or references. Well, I want arrays, so I'll OK that. Now the first thing I want is an array. And if we look here, here is an array. Alright, I need to bath down to 100. I'll make that absolute. The second thing I want is a link between that cell and this cell. Just as there's a link between that and that. So I shall click on row number and click here. OK, let's go to here. Now when it comes to column number, of course I'm looking at that column and that column. Well, what I want to do is to look at the name and see what they scored. 
by linking that to that. So I'll link the column and I'll say the name is row 1, sorry, column 1, and the result is column 2. So I shall go down there and press 2. And already it tells me some results here. Let's OK that. So now it's got Rufus leaking. Scored 100. Well, of course he did. OK, whichever one I choose. Building. Building scored 45. And here it shows it. Now there are these things working. Let me press the return of the buttons and save that. Now I need to go back to here and 